Let's face it, sex is a healthy and important aspect of life. Having a healthy sex life is directly correlated to improved physical and mental health, from lowering blood pressure to bettering our immune system. Not only that, sex can also increase emotional intimacy and bonding between couples. However, it's normal to go through phases of low sexual desire and decreased libido, especially during stressful or challenging times, such as dealing with school, work, or even grief. Everyone goes through it. Prioritizing and nurturing one's sex life is not only important, but guess what? You deserve to have an exciting and fulfilling sex life. So with that being said, here are four psychological ways to boost your sex life. Exercise. Did you know exercise can get your body moving in more ways than one? Any form of exercise, whether it's at the gym, park, or dance class can set your libido and sex drive in motion. According to research conducted by PhD professor Leah Giannine, published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, exercise of any kind can have a very positive impact on sexual functioning and arousal. Not only that, regular exercise can also enhance your sexual performance and improve your confidence. According to Healthline, writer Nicole Davis mentions that this is due to exercise improving overall health, muscle strength, and stamina, which are factors that benefit your performance in the bedroom, which in turn boosts confidence. Some experts even argue that sex is a form of exercise. Similar hormones are released during sex and exercise, such as endorphins, which function to reduce and relieve feelings of stress and pain, and can trigger feelings of pleasure throughout the body. According to a medical doctor and clinical professor at UCLA, Dr. Joseph Pinzone, in a WebMD article, sex not only helps burn calories, but it also improves heart health, such as raising your heart rate and lowering blood pressure. Masturbation. A healthy sex life starts with addressing our own sexual needs and desires. So how is masturbation related to mental health or psychology? According to a medically reviewed article by Healthline, research shows that masturbation releases several different happiness hormones with significant benefits such as dopamine, which is a chemical released in the brain associated with feelings of pleasure and motivation, and oxytocin, which is associated with bonding, intimacy, and stress reduction. In addition, you also release endorphins, the mighty pain reliever of the brain. As mentioned earlier, endorphins play a role in promoting relaxation and decreasing anxiety and stress. Masturbation can also help individuals understand and learn about their bodies, and at the same time, help them connect mentally with their needs and desires. This is important because being attuned with our own physical and mental needs helps us communicate what we want or don't want in the bedroom. This is especially important when deciding to have consensual sex with another person. Moreover, discovering what we enjoy during masturbation improves our confidence and communication in the bedroom. According to Melinda DeSetta, a certified sex therapist and licensed psychotherapist, understanding our sexual desires starts with masturbation. And as she puts it, finding erotic zones and what arouses you is key. In many ways, it's a form of empowerment. Masturbation can help us take the reins of our sex life and explore our bodies as we please. Remember, self-pleasure is self-care. Communication. Communicating our sexual preferences before, during, and after sex is incredibly beneficial in optimizing the quality of our sex life. Like anything in life, communication is key and can make a significant difference. A research study published in the Journal of Sex and Marital Therapy conducted by the psychology department at the University of Utah, found that a lack of communication is strongly correlated with sexual dysfunction. The study found that there are noticeable differences in the communication patterns of couples experiencing sexual difficulties in comparison to couples without sexual dysfunction. The couples experiencing dysfunction in their sex life demonstrated poor communication skills, such as being less receptive to each other's ideas and suggestions and blaming one another. Open communication about sex isn't just limited to couples. It should occur with sexual partners regardless of their commitment level. Although communication around sex can be awkward at first, no one should ever feel ashamed to voice their needs, desires, or concerns because it's your body and you deserve to be heard. Better sleep. There are a multitude of benefits to getting good sleep every night. According to Nicole McNichols, PhD, an associate professor at the University of Washington, who specializes in sex education, getting quality sleep is associated with a higher sex drive and can even increase libido. Conversely, research shows that sleep deprivation is linked to sexual dysfunction, decreased arousal, and infertility. 
According to an article for GoodRx by registered nurse Kara Mary Hall, sleep deprivation also has a negative impact on your mental health because it increases the risk of depression, anxiety, irritability, and mood changes, which are all factors that can potentially decrease your sex drive. Let's put it this way. Sex and sleep are two variables that are strongly connected to one another. The quality of sleep you're getting every night has an effect on your sex life and vice versa. Sex improves the quality of your sleep and can reduce stress and anxiety. Essentially, it's a win-win because who doesn't love sex and sleep? So what do you think? Have you tried any of the following tips? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, share it with others. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time.